Greetings everyone. So I'm back for another video and I've had a few days to spend some time in this thing, also making some uh, items for it. This is my personal traveler's notebook made by Jennifer at Chic Sparrow. There's the card just so you can see it again. And what I did was I had asked Marsha Bramucci to take some of the favorite inserts that I like that are in my pocket or field note size uh, notebook by Jennifer. So, and to make them personal size. So they are available. Um, you can find them on her Etsy store. I will link them below in this video. And I'll just kind of show you what I did and how I set it up. It's a very simple setup, but everything in it is something that I actually, uh, you know, I took her inserts and printed and made them myself. So here we are. So here's the notebook. Again, just so you can see, it is the uh, Creme Brulee de Deluxe in dark chocolate. So it's got that wonderful stitching, really nice elastic. So let's take a look inside. Here we go. Take off the elastic. So I don't have anything in the secretarial pocket yet. I did have the other day some colored Project Life cards um, that I posted on a photo on the uh, Jen Dory uh, Facebook page. Um, just so you can see the pocket. Um, so there's nothing in there right now, but let's move and go over here so we can look at it a little bit better. So the first thing you'll see is this lovely green. It's just a cardstock type of paper that I got uh, in those like recollection packets at Michael's. Um, I tend to use them for the covers of the notebooks that I make, or the inserts that I make myself and for some of my friends and my partner. Um, because, you know, they've got interesting designs and, you know, they're thicker than, um, you know, some scrapbook papers that, that can be very thin. Um, but it's also not that expensive because they had a sale a few weeks ago. Normally they're like five ninety nine to six ninety nine for a pack of four or five different colors, and they had them on sale for $2, so I picked up a bunch of different packages, so I can make lots of different inserts. So it's this lovely olive color, and let's see, inside, you'll see I have, um, these are the, um, what they call like the full width uh, 3M post-it notes in like this orangish color, um, and what this first notebook is, is the 2015 monthly planning the simple and beautiful here let me take off my paper clip so we can look at a little closer sorry for the shaking i don't have a tripod or anything i'm just using you know my iphone for this so what she did is she took the set where you have six months january through oh wait sorry this is the month so this is all of the months of, oops, I have my phone number. Um, I'll blur that out. So this has all of the months. This is January, February, and I just remarked everything in. See, spring break, didn't really have much of a break. Um, April, May, June, haven't filled in a lot of my summer stuff. And I even have, lots of dates for concerts and stuff actually you've scheduled for the next two or three years but one thing that i like about it is she even has after you get to the end of december there's note pages which are quite nice at the back of the book um and this is the monday start you can see right here monday through sunday she does have a sunday start for those of you that like that so that is my first notebook and I, I really like it being able to see a month at a time. So I can, 
you know, open up very quickly and see exactly what I have going on. Then, this next notebook, this is, um, the cover is scrapbook paper. I had gone to Tuesday morning, um, I think most of you will know what that store is. It's where they, they tend to get a lot of closeout items um, that, you know, main stores are no longer carrying, and then they have them at, you know, huge discounted prices. Um, it came in one of those big books of scrapbook paper where, you know, there's like two of each kind, and it's 12 by 12 paper. And so, of course, I, I cut it down towards this. And those things are normally like $19.99 at um, Michael's or Joann's, and they usually have them at Tuesday morning for $6.99 or less. So... A lot of the fun-looking papers like this, I got it Tuesday morning, and, you know, lots of variety. So this right here is the weekly planning. Um, I had taken some post-it notes and basically cut them in half, and so that's what these are here. Um, now... When you buy the original set at the beginning of the year, your notebooks... Oh, sorry, I'm bumping quite a bit. That's bad. Um, the notebooks come, you know, January through June in one notebook and July through August in another. So when you buy the digital download, you'll get that. But then she also included this, which is quite nice. It is May. Well, at least a Monday may start, so you'll see it's Monday, May 4th, through all the way back here through December. So I have my weeks from May through December, and actually the first few days right here, the first, second, and third of January in one book. So this is all of my weeks, so I don't have to print another notebook or, you know, print two. It's all here. And the paper that I used for the actual inserts is the Staples brand, and it's their pastels, and it's ivory, and I think it is 22 weight. I know a lot of people like a lot of thicker paper. Um, you know, I'm not using a fountain pen. I'm using, um, actually, I've got a few pens here so you can see what pens I tend to use in this. These are the ones that are, are usually with me. This is, sorry, bumping, a um, Uniball. Uh, I got it through Happy Scrappy, um, but I've seen them other places. I don't know, I just, in my field note size, everything is black and white, and so I like the black with the white polka dots. Um, and it, it just has three uh, inks in it. It's got a black, a blue, and a purple. Um, it came with some other inks as well, but I just, there's the purple and the blue. They're really cute. I liked them, so they're there. Um, the one that I use all the time for all of my planning is this one. It is a Pilot um, Coletto, uh, oh, I can't read through the viewfinder what it says, Pilot Japan Coletto Lumio, and it's silver? Um, I think Carrie has this pen, and that was... Or she has it in like a champagne color or something. But I saw it and liked it. And so, Carrie Harling. Uh, so I got one. And it has four inks. Um, and this one I have black, blue, red, and green. And then this one is the Pilot High Tech C. I think it's the High Tech C. And it has um, five inks. So I have a light blue, a dark blue, a black an orange and a purple, just for something fun. And another one of my favorite pens is this. This is a Muji pen, and it is in, whoop, let's pull away, I think 0.38. I do have a whole set of them in 0.5, the different colors, but I tend to use the 0.38, because um, all of these are 0.4. Especially when, you know, writing in something a little bit smaller like this or the field note size. I, I tend to, to like the um, finer point, so that way I, I don't take up too much space. So 
that's what's in this notebook, the week on two pages. And you can see there's lots of space. I just do it for, you know, basic, for me, knowing, you know, where I need to be. Do I need to be teaching, you know, at the conservatory? Do I need to be teaching at the University of Tulsa? Do I need to be teaching at Tulsa Community College? Do I have a symphony rehearsal, a quintet rehearsal, a chamber rehearsal, whatever? Um, just very simple stuff. But I love that I have the whole entire year in here already done. This here, these are the um, little project life cards. I just have them in like complimentary colors in case I want to like make a note or something. I've got a, it's kind of like a yellow, orangey, yellow, black, and like a sour apple green. I just thought, you know, they kind of went with those colors um, <clears throat> to take notes on or, you know, who knows. We'll see. Now, this yellow notebook here, um, again, the same type of cover paper, which is, you know, that scrapbook paper that's 8.5 by 11 that you buy in those packs. And actually, I think these two colors came in the same pack. It was like an autumn fall color set. Um, I just like the colors because I thought they went really nicely with the um, dark chocolate creme brulee. Um, and what's in here? I got a couple of more full adhesive post-it notes, the little ones. This one is just the note set. And as you can see, it is blank. And then there's just a few little lines at the bottom. I haven't um, done anything with this, but um, this will probably be um, a notebook that I take notes from some of the things from my summer reading projects that I have going on. Um, oh, and this is the Passport um, Midori insert um, that has credit cards here, credit card slot here, credit card slot here. I would keep like um, like a driver's license, um, like my one of my faculty ID, an insurance card, um, debit card or credit card in there and you can even store them in here but these are here to show you that it's a it's a bigger pocket it's not not the small one and then on the opposite side um there's my office depot card um and i had ordered st some stuff and i forget what i ordered i think i'd ordered some like full size midori folders and they sent this little thank you card with these you know really cute little paper clips um See if you can see that. There was like a black one, a gold one, and a silver one, and and so I use this to mark where I am in the month or the week. Um, and so then I just got some paper clips in there. Um, but this could also be a place where I would you know store any cash or anything like that. Now this is something that I just made today. I had bought some field note size folders that Annika Hanby. Oh, I'm sorry. This is so bumpy. I gotta figure out a better way to do this. I had ordered some folders by Anna Kahambi uh, on Etsy for my field note size notebook. Um, and so personal size is larger and you know there really isn't anything for it. So everything that I have in here, I had to make or you know use something smaller to fit it. Um, so I took another piece of that scrapbook paper from one of those books that I got from Tuesday morning, and I didn't make as fancy of a folder. She does an amazing job. Her folders are beautiful. Um, I don't know if I have that much patience, but so I, I just took this really kind of interesting distressed wood grain, you know, antique faux, um, faux antique paper, and made a very simple folder. It just has the one pocket here. Hers are wonderful. Um, she has um, an extra complimentary piece of scrapbook paper here, and then she's got these beautiful folders that are down here. Um, and then what I have that is I have that around a lined, let's see if you can see that, a lined notebook. Uh, and again, it's one of the Marsha Bramucci, Simple and Beautiful from the note set, these last two. You get a um, dotted line, you get a thick line, 
like the other one that was blank and then you get um, a grid so it's you know four different sets that you when, once you buy them I mean you own them you can just you know use it print another one bind it print another one bind it it's great and so here's the back of the folder right there you can see the little sorry bad angle you know nice pocket to put receipts or little notes or you know if we have a faculty meeting and you know there's like a handout or whatever I can you know put it in one of the folders but here I'll show you how I created the folder. I looked at what she had done and I wasn't going to dare try and, you know, put another piece of paper here because knowing myself, I would mismeasure and then be too short and then mismeasure and be too long and then I just wasted, you know, two pieces of paper. Um, so I just thought I'd go for a simple folder. But what I think I'm going to do next time is get the laminator out and laminate it before I glue things down. And I actually did very simple with this. I didn't use like a tacky glue or anything for, there's only two seams. There's this seam here. Let's see, I mitered the edge right there. And this seam here, again, with like a sort of miter there. Um, but I used this. It's called, um, Tombow Mono Dots Adhesive permanent, you know, and it's like the perfect width. If you look over here, just perfect. Sticks, doesn't, you know, come up. It's wonderful stuff. But let me show you what I did. For all of Marsha's inserts, you get, let's see, a cutting guide like this. And of course, this is one that I'd already used. Um, what I did was I folded it in half. Oop, I can show you this. Um, kind of made a pattern out of it. But what I had done was I folded it in half. You know, use some binder clips, put it on the notebook that I assembled, and then cut along three edges. I cut along the top, the side, and the bottom here. Um, so I had assembled, of course, you could see four books. So I had a few of these sheets left over afterwards. And so I decided to use them as a template. And let me stand up. So I'm sitting on a yoga ball, trying to get some core exercise in while I'm doing this stuff. So what I did, was I took one of the cutouts, folded it in half, because I thought that would be, um, you know, a perfect size for the pocket. You know, half the size. Pretty good. Um, just took some <laughs> washi tape that I had sitting there. This stuff. I don't even know where I got it. Maybe it's a happy scrappy one? I don't know, but it works well. Um, and then I wrote some measurements on here. So the first thing is from the top corner to the bottom is 10 inches. So that way, you know, when you fold this one up in half, when you're putting it on to a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper, you'll have, you know, two spare inches at the bottom. Now the length or the width or whatever you want to call it from here to here is seven and a quarter. But in order to fold over, not very, explaining this very well, but in order to have this right here, what I did was I added an extra inch. So even though from here to here is seven and a quarter, I added an extra inch, so it was eight and a quarter. So then I could fold the paper in half um, and then have the overhang. And so then all I did was you know, fold it in half this way, fold up this way, and then fold it in half that way. And all I did was, 
you know, measure in from here, half an inch, measure in from here, half an inch, fold, fold, and then glue, and you got a folder. And you can either leave this like this, or if you want to make an edge, there's lots of different tutorials, but this is the easiest way that I could do it with not really having um, proper dimensions. Of course, now I do. But what you can see is that it fits perfectly. This folder fits perfectly over this insert. You know, it's really great. So that right there is my new notebook that I just got. I've had it, you know, like a week. I think it came on Monday. And so I've had it since Monday. So I've had it a total of like five and a half, six days. And that's what I've done with it so far. I like it. Um, I don't think it's going to replace my um, field note size or what she calls a pocket size as my wallet um, because it's a little bit bigger. You can see how compact that is compared to my hand. That's, you know, really perfect for me for a wallet. And also, um, this is the All-American. So I, I kind of like the firmer leather. If, if, it, if it might go in my pocket, it's it's kind of thick to go into my pocket, but sometimes, you know, it goes in the front pocket when I'm, you know, running somewhere really quick. But most of the times I have my instruments with me, so it just gets, you know, thrown in the gig bag. Um, but this, I think it's going to be like um, uh, finishing a dissertation, um, having all these notebooks. Um, I think that's kind of what this is going to become. It's going to have my calendar in it because um, I like having that. And, you know, I love the field note size, but I kind of like that there's a little bit more space here. Um, but I think that's really what this is going to be is more of a, you know, help keep me on track with finishing my dissertation with, um, you know, making sure I got the right, you know, materials and the right rights in order to have certain things published and, you know, keeping lists and track of all of that stuff. Um, oh, and what I had been putting, I'd been putting this little pen in here, the um, Uniball. It, I know it has a special name because it's the black with the white polka dots, but for the life of me, I can't remember. And um, yeah, so that is my personal size. And see, it has my little name there, John. And look at the great stitching. That's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. And I'm just looking at the timer and realize this video is now 23 minutes. So I'm going to stop. Um, and so that's just this one. I'll spend some time and show you what I have in those four notebooks right there some other time. So I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.